Right. What I is up, too. everyone? Thanks for interrupting me, Cohen. This is the Goon Life Podcast. And this is take number two to start it. Oh, the first one, we fucked up. I, I guess you I fucked, fucked up, up and didn't press record. But I'm not giving you an introduction. This doesn't. This isn't really a real podcast. My name's fucking Mason. Co-host Hayden Cohen. How's it going? Yes, sir. You're doing all right. Fucking special guest Connor. How's it going? Going good, man. It's an honor to be here. Welcome Thanks to have you. <laughs> uh, this one of your last nights in fucking Beaufort, Connor. We just hung out, had a nice dinner at the at the fucking restaurant we go to, the Tav. <laughs> yeah. Buffalo Chicken Flat was a little off its game tonight, not gonna lie, but... Why don't you tell your waiter, Dude. waitress? Because, I mean, did, like, did she make the food? You could tell her to... This shit's yeah, but yeah. like, you think like they really what am give I a fuck? To say, oh, well, like this isn't quite as good. I don't want to pay for it. <laughs> That's what you said. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm just not. You paying. just gotta be like, dude, this is shit. Okay, just, even if you enjoyed it, you, you say it's shit and you get yeah. free. Or you just, like fucking make a big scene. See it. Call I, I always care. Please come I always... over here. Please come over here. This is just fine. <laughs> it's not it's the not best, great. It's, but it's okay. It's, fine. it's just fine. <laughs> I mean, I just carry a cockroach, a fake cockroach in my pocket everywhere I go, just in case, like, someone like, strikes my nerves <gasps> the wrong way, or, you know, or I don't like the food. I Get carry it. a live cockroach. It's yeah. good company. I carry a tube of a yeah. random person spit, so I can just throw it in there, and if Please. they want to test it, it's just a random person DNA. I feed it a sugar fuck. cube every week. Plays the her- harmonica. Dude. Some real what? shit. Do cockroaches need like protein and shit? Like to survive, like, like they need like nutrients. Yeah, like, like yeah, yeah. Need? Humans need like the mix of all three and like I, the other I, vitamins. Like, what the fuck do cockroaches need to survive? It depends on what their organs, like how their organs function. I have no clue. Connor, you're the wildlife economic oh, yeah. natural resource <laughs> guy out of us. <laughs> yeah. You I'm tell a, us. I'm taking my cockroach class yet. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I've never really seen a cockroach you miss that day? you never seen a cockroach? Yeah. No, I've seen a cockroach, oh. but I just don't know like what they eat. Oh, dude, I'm gonna look it up real quick, actually. I mean, I want Jesse. It's like, how does a cow eat grass to survive? Like, you know, Oh, yeah. Yeah, you see, see cows just eat grass and fucking hay. Or, yeah. They're like, herbivores. Right. But, like... Their so bodies what, are designed to live off that. Yeah. But imagine. Is that like special like, stuff? I don't know. It's weird. Can I can't, I can't but, explain it to you yet. Okay, here it goes. <laughs> I looked up maybe, what do, Maybe in the near future. I looked yeah. up what does a cockroach eat. The simple answer is cockroaches are omnivore scavengers and will consume any organic food source. That They prefer sweets, meats, and starches, but they also consume other shit. Like hair, books, and other shit. Books. That's nice. Dude, yeah, I hear a... Uh, That's a good problem to worry about. I, getting I, your books eaten by cockroaches. I hear actually a big problem with the paper bags and shit is that, like, cockroaches, like, eat them. If you leave them out. All right, then it just, boom, they eat them, so they're gone. Isn't that good? Yeah. True. <laughs> well, no, because if you go to use the fucking paper bag, you will not have a oh, usable paper bag. Oh, OJ, my paper bag. <laughs> Motherfucker. Biggest problem in the world right now. Connor, I have a real question. And not 800 missing children. Depending on how you answer this question, our friendship Are will you? be over. Is Diet Mountain Dew good? I've never had Diet Mountain Dew. No, well, is it I good? Know what I have. You is know, it like, good? Yes or like no, Mountain Connor? It's shit. I mean, as far as diet sodas go, like, it's... It's good, yeah. You're fucking wrong. I fucking hate you, bro. It is a <laughs> shitty fucking drink. And I am with Cohen on this. The only reason I'm yeah. drinking it is because I feel like having a soda and this is what we had. Dude, Mountain Dew I'm, in I'm general good. is trash. What? Dude, okay. Dude, I don't I, know I, no, okay, it has like, a good taste. Have you but Baja Blast? Nigga. Yeah, Baja Blast. I don't know. I feel taste, like. But I just can't drink it because it's just so goddamn thick. Dude. I'll tell you okay, what I told Cohen. You're over exaggerating. It's electric like, piss water. Huh? <laughs> electric piss water. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, well, the best diet soda is definitely diet Dr Pepper. Do you agree? Yeah, I, agree. I like it. Yeah, I agree. 
No, I, what about have you had the diet sprite or whatever it's cigarette That's good. I think it tastes uh, just like sprite, honestly. It, it tastes exactly the same. In fact, I think it tastes a little sweeter. Yeah, but I uh, yeah, I I think that's true. But uh, I think just diet Dr Pepper just tastes better than regular Sprite, anyways. I like Dr oh, Pepper. Hot take. Hot take. <laughs> better than Coke. Dude, I agree, actually. Pepsi Max is underrated. Pepsi is pretty good, too. Remember this Pepsi Max commercial? Pepsi Max. Uncle have, you, have you had the um, energy drinks of the Coca-Cola and Pepsi? I haven't had the Pepsi, but I've had the Coca-Cola. I haven't had any. <laughs> I've tried the Coke one. I don't know. I didn't really like it. Have you tried the Cherry Coke one? Um, I think I got the Cherry Coke one. I'm not sure. Cherry Coke what? Energy uh, drink. Me and Cody drink these energy Dude. drinks today, and they're they're called C fours, and they literally feel like there's like needles like all over your goddamn body. It's because like, okay, like poking so, your ass. And shit. It was so weird. It, yeah, it does feel like needles. Uh, they're called like they're called face spiders, where like you get tingly all over. But it's because of the there's a chemical in like pre workouts, and in this case, fucking C four, where it's called like beta athene, beta alanine, or whatever it's called, and it, Makes your little body tingle. Oh, and well, what? I was, I was gonna say, well, why the fuck are you buying a C4 energy drink? How much was that? Like two dollars. Oh, Mason, how much you spend on soda every day? Well, every no, day? I, no, I don't care about the price. I was just curious about the price, but I'm just saying like, a C4 energy drink, energy drink sounds like fucking cancer. Yeah, I know. yeah, no, it, it, it like it just sounds like it's bad for you. Like I don't want to be drinking anything that that has C four. That's what. That's, that's exactly what was my point. <laughs> but I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty good. Same thing with Bang. But Bang has a cooler logo. Ah, uh, the C four logo is pretty cool. I kind of. I think I know what you're talking about, and I think I disagree. How about Nas? Oh, no, Bang or C four look? Um, it depends. Like if we're just energy. Sake, I would say bang, but um, for like a pre-workout, I would say C4. How about taste, bro? Taste? Yeah. C4 tastes pretty good. It tastes like a huggy, like those hugs, they, they're little juice bottles yeah. or whatever. You know what I'm talking about? That they always bring to pool parties That's for carbonated summer. And they're not carbonated. They're not car- they like they're like juice, little juice like jugs. Called yeah. jugs. Saying, no, like it tastes like that, but carbonated. That's what I was saying. Hugs. Dude, I. Uh, yeah, yeah, it tastes like that. What? I fucking hate huggies, bro. This really? thing's a shit. <laughs> They're like, <laughs> no. Here's the thing. I I, I get the nostalgia, but like whenever I had one, they just like they taste like. I mean, they they weren't really refreshing. Yeah. So are, like, are you talking about like the little barrel things with like the, yeah. Um, yeah, the little punch tag? Yeah, they're they're huh? like, you know, like you ever have like it's, a it's popsicle juice. Yeah, so just about to say, I was about to like, is. you get that yeah. popsicle popsicle juice at the end. That's what it fucking is. It's like a little but, bit, a little bit is okay, like a little bit right. at a time. But like when you have like a like whole a thing of it, packet. it's like ugh, fucking hell. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Dude, I haven't had those popsicles in forever. The, uh, what are they? What are they called? I have no clue, but we only get them in the summertime anyways. My mom buys them. I don't eat them. Otter Pops? Yeah. I don't know what they're called. Something like that. Just a, long, I don't know. just a long, they have like a fucking, bunch of different names. Like, they're like in like a red bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like a net bag. Yeah. They just leave but, them like yeah. Those do... I we used to get them all the time, like all the time. I remember, like oh, that's one thing that would always almost have in the freezers. Those fucking popsicles. No, I, I mean, thought you kept them in like the pantry, going. <laughs> what? Damn, bro, you got the whole squad. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> You're a fucking asshole, going. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, I gotta uh, say that. Um. Fuck, you lost it. I lost the train of my thought. My thought. The train of your thought. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about this, Connor? <laughs> These fucking clowns. But, dude, I don't know. We used to get them all the time. I don't know. What? But, 
Dude, are you guys I'm just excited? Trying to, I'm just trying to get back to the conversation you, ex- I can't remember what I said. Are you guys excited for the uh, returning NBA start? Oh, yeah, tomorrow? Dude, what's tomorrow, your, uh, yeah. what game are you looking forward to the most? Celtics vs. Bucks on okay, Friday. Dude, obviously, dude, how about the besides Celtics that one? Celtics vs. Bucks on Friday. The dude, Bucks are going to be the snot out of the Celtics. Dude, we got, we got a whole day, day of games. I don't think that. Dude, I like how like I like how fucking silent sources and shit were like posting Harden scored thirty eight points. I know. And, thirty five like, like, points. Yeah. Uh, and eight eight literally six, six none of our starters rounds. played yesterday. Like it no, was all no. like fourteenth string and he got fucking posted by a five eleven. Yeah. Dude, I mean what, what are they Edwards? what else are they gonna post? They're just they're literally posting what happened. <laughs> Yeah, is he fucking beat your ass? They're, they're like, okay? oh, Jim Harden's, Jim Harden's a fuck amazing. What did Taco he's Fall do? Demi god, he's a demi god. He dunked. He fucking okay. dunked. How many Twice. times? Twice. He's seven fucking feet. Got the ball. If Taco Twice. Fall isn't you know dunking this? every this time he can, that's not in his he's language. literally he a waste of fucking space. his language space. to English. His head, his mind does not process that. Dude, you know the, th- the only funny thing about Taco Fall is that like, I bet he's that like, he like. He's such a meme or whatever, like to everyone in the crowd and shit. That when he gets on stage, like I want to know if he like feels bad about himself or feels good because it's like when people are like Taco <laughs> Fall, like like may- maybe when you're actually like in Boston Stadium, like the Celtic Stadium, like they're like they're actually fans of you. But like if I were to do it, it's like such a fucking like actual troll. It's like it's like he's like a meme. Yeah. I mean, Alex I, Caruso is too. Yeah, no, same thing. I would no, have, but Alex Caruso is an eight feet tall, so it's like different. I don't know. Yeah, you no, know I mean? but he's also both, no. They he, both yeah. look weird. No, one's fucking in his early twenties, looks like he's goddamn forty. Dude, they're both. Yeah, memes. well, I'd rather look like forty than be eight feet tall. What? <laughs> yeah, no, Taco. I, I totally disagree. Oh, I think. Yeah. The, what do you mean? Like you have to duck every time you go through a door. Like, hey, you know? it's dude, just man. like it's just. Two it's things, Hayden. Stick me on it's the court. Really I'm an automatic. Hayden, fucking. you're wrong. You know why? Number no. one is Alex Caruso. You're like, oh, he's it's ugly. It's all based on personal preference. Well, no, how, you're, you can't tell me I'm wrong. I, I will. Dude, I will like, tell I'm you how you're wrong. Give me a second. I'm telling you that if you woke up tomorrow and you were eight feet tall, <laughs> you would be like, I don't know. You'd just be really upset. Yeah, let me let me <laughs> tell you why, Hayden. My local church league, real quick. Let me tell you why, Hayden. Fucking put up some fucking um, what's it called? Uh. Fucking Wilt Chamberlain numbers. Wilt Chamberlain 100 numbers. Points, yeah, exactly. 100 rebounds, 100 assists, 100 yeah. blocks. That's what I do. I okay. Do. It's a well, big, first thing is, <clears throat> if you're Alex Caruso and you're on the Lakers, you're getting pussy no matter what you look like. <laughs> Okay. Or do I want to yeah. Yeah. You can you can literally <laughs> just be like you're a Laker. Like I'll be like yeah I play okay, on the Lakers. But you're pussy as with you're LeBron. Dude. No wait. No, no, wait. No, but let me let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. But see so, yeah, yeah like, you might get you might get pooed if you're Taco Fall. But you also will have <laughs> lifetime, a uh, chronic fucking effects because the human body is not meant to be. That fucking tall. His Just knees, so ankles, fucking probably his even shoulders, elbows and shit. Like, all that will be, like, more impacted than, uh, like, if he was Caruso's size. Dude, so. this is going on the fucking... This is going on the story, and there's going to be a poll, okay? Eight feet tall, or look 40 no. years old at 20. No, be like, be like who, who would you rather be? Taco Fall or Alex Caruso? I would say Alex Caruso if I don't have to look the way he looks. No, you have to look exactly like both Dude, of those but people. That's ex- like, that's the whole point. It's like you look like Alex Caruso. <laughs> well, can I shave my head? Can I keep my head shaven? No. no. Is he like? No. I mean, I think his head's shaved right now. Like I don't even really watch him play. Isn't he like not that good either? He's just like, like kind of. He's just bad. Like. Alex he's Crusoe? just he's like serviceable no, he's pretty, on defense. Like he's decent. Bro, he, he averages like he's twenty points really, a game. He's got good athleticism, and he like like he actually looks pretty good when he plays. I don't know. Dude, do you see how they uh drug? Speaking of that, like they like Alex Caruso posted a picture of him with like no shirt on oh, yeah, or whatever dude, at the gym. Did a random drug test. And they did a random drug test, and then uh recently Bull Bull just had like a breakout game in the NBA or like the uh, the preseason, whatever you want to call it. And they fucking drug tested him <laughs> right after it. Uh, um, dude. that picture of Alex Cruz is actually photoshopped. The yeah, I know. dude, I, I I think it's funny how uh, in his draft night, uh, 
on his draft night like out his draft night suit it had like a spider web and shit on it it looked kind of weird but like if when he plays he actually looks like a fucking like giant spider <laughs> dude alex caruso just became a worse player from last season i'm looking at the stats his holy shit he's just like a worse around player all around what about minutes yeah <sighs> Why you say that? Look at this. Well, no. Look at see, I'm looking at his stats. Their team is definitely no, way more better he, than he they were dropped, last year. He dropped so three obviously. minutes, but his his uh build goal percentage, his three point percentage, his uh well, fucking his true shooting, his uh, fucking think free throw. He didn't play that. He didn't play as many games. That's what I just said. Yeah, I'll give you that. Like that he played true. like maybe like half. Yeah, he played and you know, you know, towards the end of a losing season, like the Lakers were having last year, like, like you're gonna like the bench players are gonna get more minutes. Yeah. So, like, obviously they they have a more stacked team, and plus they were winning the whole season. So, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker. On basketball you. reference, it has like you know how it has like players like nicknames and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It says bald mamba, the bald eagle, and Caruso. Dude, that is fucked up, bro. I would not like to be called the bald mamba. <laughs> that's like <laughs> that's like a meme in and of itself. Like, even your nicknames are just like, God. You use the greatest mamba of all time. Black mamba. mamba? No, Brian Scalabrini. Yeah. The white mamba. In eight years, you know, I'll be telling my grandpa. He won us a chip. <laughs> yeah, in eight years. Yeah. <coughs> Are you Gucci, man? Gucci game? No, um, <laughs> who, do you, do you, who do you think? Who do you think is like the biggest Laker le- legend? Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Magic, Magic Johnson, or Kobe Bryant, <laughs> or Shaq? Magic Kobe. They played their old careers there. Yeah. <laughs> I I I put Kobe over Magic, but personally, I like I honestly I that like I I obviously I didn't I didn't really live to, through both times, but I was like at the tail end of the Kobe one, so like oh I don't know. like obviously Kobe seems more to me. Oh dude, <laughs> is that fucking Duncan? <laughs> no, it's, don't say any names either. This is a Cohen showing us a picture of him, and a, one of his friends passed out to this fat white dude. With no shirt on. Or the dude a, passed out on the ground outside. He took a lot of Xanax, didn't he? <laughs> Sand out. Connor, we don't condone this kind of activities on the Goon Life podcast. We so, I'm just telling else? you right now that like, if you're associated with that shit, you can hop off right now. Yeah, exactly. No Bahama Mamas. <laughs> Did anyone hear that? Nothing. I just got a fucking message on my phone telling me to brush my teeth. Yeah, you should brush your teeth. Yeah, I have have that set up at 10 p.m. always. It's a good reminder. Brush your fucking teeth. Rough visit to the dentist today. Oh, (laughs) yeah, you went to the dentist. How'd that go? (laughs) I just told you. (laughs) (coughs) Uh, Anyway, yeah, so I get there. I made an appointment because I think I have, like, one cavity, you know, but like I like I'm like definitely sure. Very nice. So, point I go in there, and uh, <laughs> they look at my teeth, and I don't know. I'm just gonna say I have several. Yeah, no, dude, I uh, I understand that struggle. Yeah, yeah I've, I've, I've done that before. Well, all that. What? No, I'm saying, like, I was surprised because I, like, I mean, I take pretty good care of my teeth, so. I mean, yeah. but, uh, you... Dude, <laughs> now you got me teeth. freaking out, bro. Yeah! <laughs> I'm going, I'm going in the next couple of months, actually, so we'll find out. I don't drink soda. Never. Oh, I'm not talking about soda, I'm just talking about, like, general fucking health care. You floss? I don't floss that much. I don't floss. Yeah, I don't, I don't have floss. floss. <laughs> Are you then, the little... Things with like the toothpicks on them, you know, that have like yeah, I used to use it all the time. Yeah, they uh, every time I go to the dentist, they're like, uh, you floss? They, 
I'm like, your guns yeah. are bleeding. Oh, maybe because you're fucking like. <laughs> Like, yeah, you need floss more. Your gums are bleeding. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, because your gums, your gums thing. won't bleed if you do it often. I think we. That's a sign that unhealthy that gums, motherfucker. That. You don't think the dentist yeah. literally knows that? Stupid. You, you, you never thought, but hey, man, well, maybe I'll I ask them, and they would Stupid. tell you. I do okay? it a lot. I Get fucking lot. wrecked. Mason, that's a, such an OG sweater. It looks like an old man sweater. Do you remember when he bought it? I do. Dude, I got a couple of sweaters I don't have. I don't wear often, but I have. This one, it's just way too fucking big. I, th I thought you were going to first one. It's like a word. <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, it's, yeah, it's definitely like a, uh, like a cold, like a cold base like, sweater. That's why I never. I, I fucking swear wear. your style is like Zach Galifianakis. Exactly. Zach Galifianakis. Yeah, but on la, la, la. I feel like that's how your style is. Seems like. <coughs> you know he's like a genius. <coughs> is he? I think. Yeah. <laughs> well, we got something in common. Oh, now you call Mason a genius. <laughs> Y'all ever watch Between Two Ferns? I do watch that sometimes. It, it pisses me off <laughs> watching it, just how rude he is to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's honestly funny. Like, <laughs> they made like a movie. On Netflix. Yeah, I know. I started watching it. I'm like, dude, I can't do this shit. After I watched the fucking, what was it? The um. Hillary. No, it was funny. Dude, the Hillary his... one is so funny. It, it was, it was um Bradley Cooper. After I watched that one, I was like, ah, I don't like this. It makes me bad watching it. Kinda. Don't speak of the devil. The so, one, what's your approach to uh, soda then now? Well, uh, I mean, I've already been kind of trying to cut back. Uh... <clears throat> More of a reason to. What's up? I said now it's more of a reason to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Precisely. You like uh, uh, but yeah, like I just like don't buy it at the grocery store and stuff because if I do, like I'll knock back a six pack a day. Damn. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. No, dude. It's just like I can do that easy. Payton. No. <laughs> I, can do that I think easy. it's just like I don't know, like the sugar. What is, you want to know real numbers? <laughs> That's funny, because <clears throat> I usually just drink diet, so it's just interesting. Yeah, maybe I should get on the um. Mm, the very nice. Max train. No, bro, <laughs> it's still fucking addicting. Uh, uh, <laughs> You just become addicted to natural, uh, to unnatural uh, sweeteners. <laughs> what is it? What is it called? Sort of an S. It's um. Wonder. <laughs> aspartame. Yeah, aspartame. I mean, yeah, sort of an S. Fuck, I really Dude, flirted. Why did I, I think of that? I could have sworn that's what Post Malone said when he was talking to Joey Rogan. Sort of an S. I don't know. I don't know why people uh. Hey, on like like aspartame like gives you cancer, and then like I. Like, fucking popcorn gives you this cancer. This is well, I was fucking gives no. off X ray. Like, well, no, I was gonna yeah. say like this is the most one of the highest, <laughs> like the one of the most like, like done like most researched, uh, natural uh, or, or like s chemical sweeteners they add to drinks. <laughs> like, so there's so much fucking like studies done on this that like if it was really bad for you, like we're drinking it, it would like fuck they you up. Put it in. Yeah. If they wouldn't put you in, maybe like excess amounts is not good for you. Obviously, right. I mean, like, I, I being a moderate, like, moderacy, but yeah. Very nice. I agree. Very nice. Oh, but we gotta watch Borat someday. Teed, I'm not watching fucking Borat. Why not? I you just, I like. Movie. No, Didn't yeah. you watch it recently, Carter? That no, was good. No, I don't think so. Who was it that yeah, was? I mean, it has a lot of but It has a lot of rewatch value. It does. Yeah. I agree. Borash is not a movie I uh, want to watch. Have you ever seen it, Mason? Dude, I've seen clips, bruh. You've seen clips? No, you yeah. have not seen you the whole movie. You haven't seen it. You You're shit on it. Pussy. You haven't seen it. Dude. I know. Imagine that. Imagine, like, 
not even Dude, hearing no, the song he, yet, like, and you like already, you hear like already... a snippet, like ten seconds. You're like, oh, that whole song is shit. Like what? Yeah. But this is how what? Mason is though. So no. like he's so set on the fact that like he, he doesn't like it, bro, that if he like actually did watch it for through, he like he he'll automatically say he doesn't like it. <laughs> that's so that's what no. Mason will do. Dude, no, I don't, I don't, I. I don't dislike it because I don't think it's like not funny, even though it may be some shit I don't find funny. But I don't like it because the way it fucking looks. It is one of the most ugly what? fucking movies. I cannot watch it where the colors make me want to kill myself. Okay, what? dude, I, it's just look at look like watch it, bro. How about you just watch the movie watch it, and then your opinion watched. might matter. Like I don't that. like what it was filmed on. Like whatever fucking camera they used, I fucking hate. Whatever, like, how they the movie. color did it, like, whatever. Sit down. One evening. Kill yourself. Maybe in the morning, whenever you wake up, and watch it. Just watch it. What do you got to lose, honestly? Some time. Some time that doing fucking that matters when the world's about to end. You know what I'm saying? You know what I've been thinking about a lot? The value of time. And if other people's time is more valuable. Is your time valuable, in your opinion? Do you think it is? Well, no, let me say this. I don't think... And any... what do you mean by, like, one person's time? Are you talking about their effort put into something or their presence? Like, no. what do you mean? I mean, like, one hour of your time, is that valuable? And I was thinking... Yes. This, and I came to... Me, personally, I came to the conclusion that everyone's time is of equal value. And why do you say that? Well, that's fucking complex, <laughs> and I don't think I'm in the... Uh, <clears throat> State of conscious uh, truly, <laughs> okay. to truly okay. explain it. Okay. I give you that. How, how, how do you feel? How do you feel, Hayden? I mean, good I'm, talk. <clears throat> and that's just because I'm tired. <laughs> oh yeah, is it? Yeah, <clears throat> okay. I'm just a little I mean, tired. I thought you. I thought you normally stay up to like twelve or one. What? I thought you'd normally stay up to like 12 or 1. Yeah, I don't know how late I stay up anymore. I'd probably wake up around like 9. I wake up around like 7 or 8. Today, 5. <laughs> Some do you, do you work often in the morning? Yeah. So when do you, when do you usually go to work? 2. Okay. 2 o'clock in the morning. <clears throat> Conversation got boring. got boring. Connor, are you feeling good? Feeling it, Mr. Crab. Feeling what? Oh, <clears throat> the doom life experience. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> essence. You know, it's funny. Oh, I guess. I guess like, like, uh, we should tell tell Connor what our plans for the future are. Wait, wait, let me say this real quick. You really want me to babble on? Fuck. <laughs> no. Yeah. Let me let me say this real quick. Like, whenever I think about the trip now. There's, like, the one thing that, like, always pops in my head, like, when I just think about, like, the trip in the entirety, is, like, Victory Screech! <laughs> that fucking, that episode. <laughs> like, like, the little beam. I don't know why. I think that's pretty you funny. You watch, but... like, fucking Spongebob half of the time. It's like that, swimming, cold water, like, maybe hitting a dab brewski, fucking, uh... Smoking a fucking... Lucy in the sky with fucking <laughs> diamonds. Haha, <laughs> got a... But yeah, you know. Aiden, does Maggie miss me? She does. Maggie, come here. How old is she? She's about uh, like seven years old. Something like that. And dog. Nah, meat. she's uh. So it's July. She was born October, November ish. Dude, so they you grow quick. That. Oh fuck. You didn't that count kind of crazy <laughs> yeah. to think. Like, we're in our sophomore year. She's had her first blood already, hasn't she? <laughs> She's what? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Maggie, what would you like to say to the podcast? How often does she bark? Fucking all the time. Um, she all barks. Time. I, leave her, like, what the I fuck? leave her all in the crate. Um, <laughs> when I look when, at her, she barks at me. When, when I don't when touch you play her, her when you when you play with her, but then you try to, like, do your own thing, leave her own, she just keeps wanting to play, she'll bark. I, I have a question. Um, when you open the door, she'll bark. When if she sees something door, out the window, bark. she'll bark. Or if she hears someone ring the doorbell, she'll bark. It's bark. a fucking dog, I mean. But she just does. She, 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 she's 
I don't know. She doesn't really like when she's calm. She doesn't bark. So it's which not I guess talk most to dogs do, but still. <laughs> yeah, but when she <laughs> whisper like secrets in my ear, she's calm right now. Cause she like fucking gives him gives her weed. Like, here, eat on this. Dude, have you ever tried to give her CBD like my treats? Pen- oh. She's yeah, standing on did. my bed right now, right in front of my camera. <laughs> You you should get her a Scooby Welcome. Doo uh, oh, collar. Yeah. I know. What's a Scooby Doo? And get I guess get, just make the like the whole thing. Is Peyton ever like killed? Can I take the dog for a walk? Nope. No. Nope. Nope. Like, I got there. I don't know that answer. Okay, nice. don't be. Dude, you guys a fucking dog. Yeah, it's bro. Just, if dude, guys, if classes are online, we're going up to Lake Murray as well. This, yes, this sir. semester. Yes, Lake yes, Murray. You bet we won't, Connor. We're going to go to your fucking uh, frat yeah, house. Come to, Lake Hart- come to Lake Hartwell. Oh, I thought it's Lake Murray. No, uh, no okay. Lake Murray is up there by uh, Carolina. <laughs> yeah, I mean, That's I meant Lake either. Hartwell, Connor. Well, that kind of ruins. Like, I was like, I was like, why is it Connor like, reacted at all? I was like, fuck you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I guess he doesn't want me to. I'm Connor's on up like- to Pickens County, boys. Dickens County? Splendid. Dickens County. Dude, I'm hungry. Dude, I don't know. What do you guys want to talk about? Um. Uh, I thought y'all about... wanted to talk about the, um, the new format. Oh, format <laughs> yeah, podcasts? I thought we'd just say it, like, since you, we like, didn't you're say curious. Anything. What the fuck are you talking about? We didn't say anything. We did it. Well, who said we said anything? You just said. What did we I were say? We saying. You were like, we were saying, we said. Like, we, you said, like we said. And that's what you, like, I was going to say, like we said on the last podcast, bitch. Let me oh, finish. Well, you didn't say that part. Fucking disrespect my ass. Can't have it. No, I'm just joking. But yeah, as we were saying on the last podcast, we're going to start switching things up. And uh, we're not doing it this week. But starting next week, we're gonna try to uh, like have more segmented like topics or whatever, and like like have a main focus for our episode, and like have more more discussion based shit. Like we're like talking about a topic, and like do a little more research. So yeah, we're also changing the name. We're also changing the name, and like we're gonna get like a logo and shit. Yeah. What do you think the name should be? Psychonauts. Psychonautical. Personally, let's let's go. Let's all go through our favorite and let's ask Connor which one he likes the most. Psychonautical. Stoners of boners. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna say the one right now I'm thinking of is just the Google Life podcast. I fucking hate what? It. Cohen? No. No, uh, I, I don't like Just that. go on. Come on, come on. I, wasn't, I didn't Psychonautica, ask. Psychonautica or three little psyches. I don't know. I don't three know little hippies. Know. Three little hippies. That's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> but like, where is the, um, like, how, how puff, would it? Puff pass. Three little birds. How about a. Um, yeah, but like, this isn't like the... a weed podcast. Or well, it's not just weed. It's not think, just, weed, weed is like. Just so the, the most format, accessible drug. The new format gets. that we've been talking so about. Experience it a lot. It has to do with us trying new things while on the podcast. Isn't <laughs> and um <laughs> like I don't know. Okay, like, <laughs> all this is not said is that I am not like dropping shit. Maybe. I don't know, dude. Hey, dropping shit? What do you mean dropping shit? What do you mean? You know what you drop. I dropped something. <laughs> Is no one getting what I mean? I'm no, I, 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 I think I'm getting what you mean. We're but talking like, about it, like dro- revealing, revealing what we want to do in the future. Like no. dropping is everything. You're talking about like taking shit. Yeah, and I'm oh, saying dropping. What's another word for taking? You're yeah, dropping. okay, I get you saying. I didn't know where that dropping came from. I had no fucking clue what you're talking about. Like, why the fuck is he saying dropping? What did he drop? But yeah, like, like, it, it, like, the the new format involves us, like, you know, being under their influence during the podcast quite a bit. Eh. 
And what does psycho not mean? It's Maybe like it the definition. Like he's, uh, he's well, now, I, I think, I think, I'm not saying but I'm But in not. a more structured way. <laughs> I don't know, dude. We're still talking about the future. And we're going to, like, we're, we're going to, like, we're going to have, like, stuff for us to talk about throughout it. Like, we're going to have, like, a purpose that each like podcast and more like less of us just ra- talking about random stuff like we'll still have podcasts like that but like like a good majority of them is just gonna be us sticking to certain topics yeah 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 <clears throat> i mean like that's yeah. like if you really think about it, like if you're like oh like well like the most biggest podcast in the world joe rogan doesn't do that no he kind of does bro he gets a fucking you just don't watch him okay no well no <laughs> i would say he gets a guest like like, the guests, like, you know what you're getting into when you talk to fucking, like, uh, like Dennis Rodman. Like, you're on talk about, like, you, you, yeah, like, or, or a physicist, fucking... like, you know, whatever, like, someone crazy. Like, you know what you're getting Musk. into. Yeah, if you're talking to Elon Musk, you know you're going to talk about his companies, like, the future, maybe, like, some political shit or whatever. Right. Like, so you know what he's talking about, like, and if he's with a friend, he'll talk about, like, comedy more and, like, his maybe, like, like, some, just, like, some shit i don't know but like you you kind of you kind of know what you're getting into is what i'm saying uh, and so you're kind of we kind of want you to start knowing what you're getting into when you watch an episode of the fucking uh goon life podcast or stoners right. with boaters you little hippies it's kind of just frozen on my fucking screen no, no he just likes to stay still and not blink for like what, what 10 do, minutes what do you, at a time what do you think about that connor <laughs> He's sitting, he's sitting still now. Yeah, because his light. <laughs> <laughs> but what no, do you I think, think about that? Good. No, I, I mean, I think it would probably be good for podcasts to have a little bit of structure, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, li- get a little more structure. <laughs> Out yeah. of shadows. I mean, it definitely, like, would make it better for our audience. Because, like, like who, who really wants to just hear us talk about random shit all the time? You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I I would say it's different too, cause you're like, oh well, like maybe this famous person does it, but like usually like the person was famous before they started the podcast, and so it's like the podcast right. is like more about them. Right. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. if fucking Kanye West made a podcast, people would listen to it because they want to know what Kanye West is like, like doing on his day to day life. He could talk about whatever yeah. the fuck. He could be like, yeah, I like Harry Potter. Be like, holy shit, fucking Kanye West likes Harry Potter. It'd be like a big thing or whatever. But Don't yeah, you read all three books. But no one gives a shit if uh, uh, average Joe likes Back front. Con- like likes fucking yeah. Harry Potter. That's good. Yeah, I think that would definitely like help y'all, like widen y'all's like audience. Cool. Very nice. Do you see what the fucking two dry fucking towels I had to work with on this fucking podcast? I mean, right, like right now I'm high. We're not really having a topic to no, talk about. No, it's a about. give and take situation, bro. I come up with give a fucking topic. Situation. You fucking fuck think of a topic up? and you, you come up with about? one, you fucking piece you of shit. You didn't come up with that topic. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. <laughs> Dude, well, I came up with half the topics on this fucking cast. My bad. Have you? My bad. I just, I have to sure, like, what, like what, what you're doing 99%, you kind of just, you kind of just, you kind of just take other 1%. Like, we can talk about fucking drugs for a whole podcast. Just one drug, fucking go into detail about it. Hey, well, let's talk about some ibuprofen. Let's about it, the negative and positive effects of it, long term, short term. Because I can't take any type of flammatories anymore. The United fuck. States has just passed 150,000 <coughs> Corona deaths. Okay, let me look that up. <coughs> Dude, I don't want to talk about Corona. Fuck Corona, bro. No <coughs> coronavirus in Mason's world. We don't fuck with those vibes. Dude, like, those vibes uh, need to exit. You know, it's funny. After I stopped focusing on the news... Your dick started growing? Yes. Every time you go. <coughs> well, no. I honestly just, like... I don't know. It feels kind of weird, honestly. I feel like I don't know what the fuck is going on. Nor LCS partners with North Korea. What? Oh, it's fucking satire. I was like, what the fuck? Why is it white? Oh, shit, it's dead. Oh, yeah. No. So, er, so earlier today, like, we were talking about, like, League of Legends. You know, I watch League of Legends. I thought I'd just say because it's pretty funny. But, like, the, L- the LEC, which is, like, the European League, 
they're like franchise and shit. And they're getting like a lot of sponsors recently. And they just got this sponsor today from like a Saudi Arabian like oil thing, and like they're like no, they're like openly like homophobic and shit. And like, and the LECs like do like they're like they had like all their Pride Month shit last month, and like it's like oh no, <laughs> like what the fuck. And so, but yeah, uh, people were saying like, dude, like. You just know they're getting fucking Saudi Arabian money. So, like, that oil money, boy. Or maybe it's not an oil company. I don't know what the fuck it is. I thought maybe... Let me make sure before I say anything. I agree. Because I like to speak facts only. Oh, yeah? I only Good. speak facts, actually. Good time to start. Dude, what the fuck? Yeah. Say the same thing. What the fuck, bro? Jesus repents. Where, 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 I'm not Jesus. What? Where's my fucking? Okay, here it is. No, bro. So, so, so many people shit on the sponsorship with the Saudi Raven people that they right. canceled it. What do you think about um Joe Rogan having uh Post Malone on his podcast today? Uh-huh. I think it's kind of weird, but I kind of fuck with it at the same time. I, I, I agree. Like, like, how, like, Post Malone's 25, when Joe Rogan fucking 50-something? No, yeah. 50? I think he just turned 50, 51. That, it's true, dude. Like, like, it, like, watching them talk to each other, like, it feels like, it feels like a 50-year-old and a... 25 year old talking to each other like you can clearly right. tell like there's like some like age difference and like, no, like they talk about like they're joe rogan finally met his match on people that can just bring up fucking random shit and talk about it like that's exactly what fucking post malone does he bounces around and fucking just talks about random shit dude and they like we're per- are perfect together post wow, malone that. talks like this and it's kind of annoying when you're listening to the podcast because it sounds like he's speaking at half the fucking pace. I'd rather hear Ben Shapiro for talking and speaking really fast about how smart he is and how his IQ is really good big. It's like, uh, yeah. I and I was like the doctor. <laughs> I'd rather talk to, I'd rather hear someone that talks slower. And he doesn't, like, talk monotone how you are. He definitely has a change in voice. Okay, yeah, obviously I was, just... I was making the, I was exaggerating. For, uh, okay. uh, I mean, it sounded pretty on tune with Dave Shapiro or Ben Shapiro. Dave, yeah, that's pretty Sh- solid. Ben Shapiro, uh, <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, Ben Shapiro is <laughs> a fucking like everyone knows that meme. It's like he just he talks faster than you, and like is like really articulate with what he says, and so like you think he's like really smart. He's like, oh, I owned your ass. And it's like, wait, like you, yeah, la, 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 la. it's like, okay, dude. He he does a victory right. screech. It sounds like he's like continuously doing a victory screech. <laughs> He uh-huh. seems like he got bullied a lot in high school. <laughs> His uh sister has big tits. <laughs> Poor, oh, very nice. How old is she? I don't know. I can like around his age, I guess. Fucking fourteen. I'm like, whoa, Mason. You didn't tell me she was little, sister. <laughs> yeah, no, I can definitely yes. Like, yeah. Can you guys be yeah. me the governor? This sister South looks Dakota? weird. What? I would say. Yeah, she does look weird. Who? Oh, wait, you looked it up? Yeah. Uh, who says she looks normal? I just said she has big tits. Oh, I don't know. Well, maybe she first. Like, she looks similar to Ben Shapiro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm just seeing, like, female versions. Like, she kind of looks like a fucking anime character. She looks like she's Jewish. No, I'm like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, like, I'll, I'll never forget. She looks like a fucking just more modernized and Frank. Dude, I'll never forget when I found out Ben Shapiro was Jewish. I was watching the Goon Life. Uh, not the Goon Life. I was watching dude, how the Goon Life. How do you not realize dude, this? He's, he's always wearing the yarmulke. Yeah, he's well, dude, always wearing the yarmulke. I literally did not notice it. Bro, his hair is like, <laughs> it like... It like melts with his hair so well. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. And I was, I was like, I was watching the Joe Rogan podcast right, and he like, he says like, yeah, I'm Jewish or some shit. I literally stopped. I like fucking I like open the YouTube app and I'm like, what the fuck? It's kind of weird. Oh, this is his wife. Wait, is this his wife? What the fuck? No, 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 no yeah, it's that's Ben Shapiro's sister. She looks like a fucking like a uh, character, like a in a game. It's fucking weird. 
she looks like oh, oh shit she looks like she's like from flushed away that movie about all those little fucking rats and shit being like the sewers okay flushed away i used to have that video game on gamecube how do you guys Stop. feel about uh it had a movie still what was i gonna say dude how do you feel know. about what fuck me damn really oh, dude, the girl from matilda is um ben shapiro's cousin Matilda, why is really? it something? Yeah, that's so interesting. Hmm, huh. very nice. Dude, Ben Shapiro is so weird looking. I'm already almost. I'm already almost finished with one cart. I'm getting close. I have to charge it now. What the fuck did he do to his camera? He just dang no, on there. Dude, that was so funny. <laughs> oh, I got him. <laughs> <laughs> Made you laugh. Yeah. Who even said I was trying to be funny? I don't know. You said it was a joke. I'm just fucking with you, bear. I'm just fucking with you. What are you trying to be angry? Make us angry? Trying to make us mad, Mason? Is that what I'm getting out here right now? Very lackluster. Dude, the effort of these fucking two clowns. I feel like I've been talking more than you, Mason. <laughs> what do you? Because I'm really just sitting back and just soaking it in. How how Hayden? Soaking what in? How how you and Hayden can let just let us like we I if I didn't talk for three minutes, you guys wouldn't say shit for three minutes. I mean, it depends what we're talking about. If I'm telling a story, I can go on about the fucking story. I don't talk about a topic, well, no, topic that I, I want to talk about and know what I'm talking about. Then yeah, I'll fucking go on. But I think a uh, good. A good podcast host will, when he catches his partner, like in a dry moment, will also speak up to help right. flow the conversation. And sometimes I feel but like I like uh, to rather just sit there in the silence and soak the silence in. Yeah, well, fucking Very people simple. listening would don't. <laughs> Maybe they wanted to take a break too for, for a <laughs> yeah. second, just like okay. think silence. about themselves. Never know. Give those options out there just for people to take. Okay. Yeah, but no one listens to a podcast. Or like, like, think about it. Stop. If like we didn't have those silent spots, and then we have to like, pur- like purposely, manually stop the video, yeah, thing just to have a silent moment when we give it to we're them just, without stopping it. We're just trying to look out for them, Mason. You're know. like you're like kindergarten teachers. Person. Okay, it's time for nap time. Hey, exactly. it helped it. You, you're more energized, weren't you? Yeah. Dude, honestly, let me be real. Why didn't like why does nap time even stop becoming a thing? Like. I have no fucking clue to be honest. Like, actually, that's what they like, fucked up in the in the fucking schooling system. Dude, Fuck I, all these I feel like it would get to a shit. point though. Like, like you're old enough. We took away nap time. You're old enough during nap time to where like, like you know you don't want to nap, so you're not gonna yeah, fucking. Nap. Yeah, you're not gonna fucking nap. Dude, well, dude, I think ILT in the uh, high school was like the best thing. It was like forty minutes, chill yeah. the fuck out, like in the middle of school, and like, I don't know. I think that worked. That was like nap time. Would you disagree? Like no, a forty-minute free period. Did you like ILT? ILT? Yeah. See, I mean, ILT was cool when you could go where you wanted to. Yeah. No, I'm talking about like, like the first two years. The first two years of yeah. ILT were probably like my favorite memories of high school. Yeah, I liked ILT. <laughs> fucking Miss Hartman's class. He'd fucking pour the egg Hart- into. She only she was only there for her freshman year. Yeah, Hayden had like fucking medical terms or some shit. With her, is that what she teached? Like, was it just like, like, health med shit? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just remember like uh, I don't know. It was just like cool how a free period. Oh shit! School. I'm gonna hey. slide a bitch. I was talking about that earlier, Kyle. <laughs> what? Uh, Miss Hartman medical terms. <laughs> yeah, no, but like not that. You said Sherwin, or Sherman? Uh, Mr. Sher Sherwin. My God. Wait, dog. wait, wait. Which one? Which one is he? Because I think I was thinking of the wrong person. Health science. You yeah, might be yeah. thinking of Mr. Smith. Yeah. I'll yeah. say like Mr. He Smith. retired this year. I knew he was retiring. The fat guy, coach. Yeah. Dude. No, 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 no. He Are was like. 
No, the guy who would always ring the bell in the hallway. Happy little birdie. Oh, him? Oh, birthday. Oh, Mr. Smith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What was he? I think he was like a he was like a hip hop Valentine. Oh my artist. god, dude, dude! Like he did like the the um the Christmas things. Yeah, like he was well, that, but he did um, like, he did like a Valentine's Day one for like a hip hop rap. Dude, so let me. Fun. Yeah, yeah. He did like some Santa rap thing, dude. I will say slightly racist. <laughs> what do you mean? Slightly racist. He came into my like I forget what it was, but he said something. I was just like, ugh. <laughs> I, mean, not, I don't know. It, it just like was one of those things. You're like, it oh, is... well, you know, you probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> <laughs> Did anybody like make faces in your class or something when he said it? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, like people were like, yeah. I mean, it was just a little cringe. Just a little cringe. Yeah, dude. You know who my least favorite teacher in fucking high school was? I didn't even have his class. Just whenever I saw him, I got fucking mad. The dude next to Dr. Boda. Oh, Mr. Yes. Max. Mr. He Max. Was, he Mr. he Max. was my... He, he retired our senior year, right? Like, um, but he was my... uh, he Is my shit on? Yeah, okay. He, he was my... Retire. Yeah, he did. No, he, he said didn't. He, he said he was going to. I don't but know. But he fucking didn't. He was there this like, year. We, we were his last, um, like, his last, what was it fucking called? Clearly not. No, the thing, you know, how the teacher you're with, like, the four years of your, like, you're supposed to Eagle go to him once a week. Eagle nest. Nest? Yeah, he was, like, my nest guy. He was my nest teacher, my four years of high school. I have, I have, uh, Miss Corbett. It kind of cracked of how during the fire drills he would be out there with like the lawn chair and the hat you know what I'm talking about he did? yeah yeah that's pretty funny actually it's kind of it's not like that long was it I feel like he went like to Wake minutes. Forest he went to Wake oh, Forest yeah. I don't know like I've heard that he's pretty funny he is funny he's just a he, he is a dickhead he's just like yeah, yeah. He, he's a no dude he's it's, like not, a... it's not even that like I don't like the way he, he likes... talks I don't know. He, he <laughs> I think ass. the way he talks is honestly like kind of like hilarious. a head ass. <laughs> it's a definition of a head ass. I just hate people who talk like that. I don't know. Maybe I talk like, like that a little bit. I don't think I do. Maybe. Wait, what do you mean? Like, how do you talk? Like, I don't know. I don't. I don't even remember what he talks like. All I remember is that like whenever I would see him, and he speak to me, like I would just get like angry and irritated. Sigh. Like, dude, just shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, he does talk to you like Both you're stupid. Punch like, you he fucking he yeah. definitely does. I just, rem- like I also stupid. remember we had a class. I had a class. Or like, I had Dr. Boda. Dr. Boda was, like, sick or whatever. And he came in here. He taught. He started teaching the class. I literally just stopped paying attention. I was like, I'm not fucking, like, if I listen to you, like, I'm going to go insane. I don't know. I just didn't like him. Very nice. Yeah, it's just my one gripe. He were, he reminded me of like the South Park dude. Like he kind of looked like him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 He's like, I'm retiring. Like next year, he you won't have this. Disciplinary it. guy, dude. You, he, he, he's good for like a couple speeches a day. Okay, <laughs> dude. Yeah, <laughs> the man, the man, like would pump out like four like, like motivational, change your life fucking speeches every fucking day. And it's like, I dude, he would. But like, they're like they weren't even like good. You <laughs> <laughs> dude, no. dude, but like they're so funny, man. Yeah, no, he, like, like. Oh I my agree. god! All the black. Did you ever have I? Did you ever go to ISS, Connor? Yeah, I did. Why? I think I went for like. Oh yeah, I remember why. Yeah, okay. So, uh, so um, I think sophomore year, I was doing Tommy Collins like driver training, you know, and uh, I don't know, I had PE or something. I like skipped to go do Tommy Collins. Ah. Yeah. And they got his ass. Ooh, yeah, snatch you me. up. Got me good. Dude. Um, the one time I went, I voluntarily went. Well, volu- oh, volu- whatever. Fuck. Um, 
and I just went there because I didn't want to go to class because I came like from a doctor's appointment like halfway through and I was like fuck it I'll just go to ISS for the rest of the day and I go to like lunchroom and I walk in because I guess they were having lunch they had lunch before everybody so I like walk up to him he has his back turned to me he's sitting at the table and like I tap on his back and I tap on his back and like he like no I, did I tap on back no 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 I just I asked him like are you the ISS teacher he turns around one of his eyes are fucking like blue he's he's a black gentleman he had brown eyes and one of his eyes were blue and I was like fucking staring at it it, just, it was obviously a glass <laughs> eye he had a fucking eye. glass eye oh I, I know what you're talking about yeah and yeah, the back he got, yeah, I think that's his name. Apparently, he got his eye shot out when he was a little kid from a BB gun. His like brother shot him in the face or whatever. And so it's not like I he was hard ass from it. But it was fucking. It was a funny because um like later like the next lunch period, a bunch of these uh loud girls came in, and uh they're like screaming and shit, just fucking just screaming being noxious and he was in the bathroom and he comes out of the bathroom he's like looking around looking at him like what the fuck are y'all doing he, like walks up and like they're like just he was he didn't say anything like and they're still being loud like fucking like talking to him like being, just being loud and out, out of nowhere he goes shut the fuck up in my classroom like he fucking like screamed it i was like what the fuck i, I was like Everybody's like, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> it was so fucking funny, and like, they're like oh, and then I walked out or whatever. And one's like, you didn't need to say that. Say that. That was so excessive. Or that, or some dumb shit. But it's really funny. Dude, that reminds me of a uh, in sixth grade, the school I used to go to was like really fucking shit, and like my English class, like the teacher left because she got pregnant, like this black lady, and so we got in, like this like this special ed teacher for a while. And like the he kids, was special ed, or did he teach special ed? He taught special ed. It, it's a girl. Okay. It's like a middle aged white lady. Uh, and uh, all the me. fucking, all the kids would be so fucking rude to her or whatever. And like I was just like a shitty job, like it was bad. And then one day she cracked and she goes, "Shut the fuck up, biatch!" <laughs> it's like what the <laughs> fuck. What? And they're like, "Oh my god, you said bitch!" And she's like, "No, I said biatch." You guys say <laughs> you guys say and say it's not bitch. And I was like like I was like, Oh, that's just kinda like you fucked cringy. up. <laughs> you done fucked that's up. That's really cringy. Cause it's like when like kids kids love it to see their teacher like say a bad word. Cause they're like, Oh, you fucked up. You right. called someone a bad word, it's like you're getting fired, you fucking like they start dancing, it's like, <laughs> like So do that back back kid dance, fucking swinging their arms back and so forth, like, like fuck yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> We got her, boys. We got her. Dude, I heard something today. I fully agree with it. They're like, kids are the most malevolent people out there. Like, they are some of the most evil people out there. Like, kids. Like, yeah, kids I are, agree. And I was like, yeah, that's kind of true, dude. Like, kids just do fucked up shit, like, all the time. And, like, people are like, oh, they, they don't know better. But, like, it's still fucked up shit. Like, and sometimes right. they do know better. Like, you just you just give the bit of the fit of the doubt to them. Like, oh, like, they're, they're, they're 10 to learn. It's like, no, motherfucker. Sometimes they... they are just they... a little dickhead that fucking doesn't listen. Dude, I mean, kids are like... I don't know. Once they get into that middle school age, it's really... Just, they're kind of just, like, gross. Yeah, no, seventh graders are the biggest dickheads in the planet. And I stand yeah. by that. Middle, school's, middle schoolers in general. But Deep seven has head. the worst this in the player, yeah. Actions actually like studies should prove it. What? Like seventh grade is like the worst distant player, distant, distant, and like disciplinary like actions like they they those that's the grade that has the most and like you can look it up. Um, yeah, I remember doing stupid shit in seventh grade. Dang. Yeah. So long. I remember doing stupid shit in uh. Eighth. Eighth grade. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, like, it's just, like... Damn, I was in six. It's because, I think it's because when you hit eighth grade, people are like, oh, like, you're in eighth grade now, you gotta be more mature, and it's just, like... But, like, in seventh grade, it's, like, it's, like, yeah, like, you're above people. Now, like, like, you feel older, you're, like, oh, yeah, I'm getting old, like... And it's, like, yeah, you're, like, getting to that dickhead face, it's, like, yeah, like, I'm kind of, like, I'm kind of, like, some hot shit. 
It's like in actuality, oh, it's like they're not at all. Oh, I would agree. I would agree. Dude, take a couple of dabby brewskis. Can you just take a moment to set in? Because once in a while, I'll think about it too, though, like uh, <coughs> how like the age difference between all of us. Like Kobe is a year and a week older than me. Just got yeah. kind of weird. Kobe's two months Kobe's older. Birthday. Three months. August twenty first. Two thousand, I think. So yeah. Kobe's like two years. I remember old. that because it's just like a year and a week. It's kind of like holy shit. Plus two or plus one. Yeah. He's like a year older than Balin. Yeah, yeah. Balin's Bal Bal is like nineteenth or something. Yeah, something like that. It's oh, in my. August. Two and something. Or the eleventh, maybe. Two years I'm not sure. Yeah. They're like four years older than Kevin almost. Almost three years. Oh really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. When's your birthday, Connor? October twenty seventh. Scorpio. I'm a uh, Virgo. I'm a Capricorn. <coughs> I'm a dragon. <laughs> no. What the fuck? <laughs> Are you fucking? That's the fucking Chinese. Yeah. I'm a Scorpio. Dude, um, okay, listen to this. So, like, one time, uh, at Clemson, like, I was talking to this guy, and he's telling me about astronomy. He was like, yeah, I took, I was like, I signed up for astronomy, and I thought, <laughs> he said he thought it was going to be about, like, <laughs> <laughs> like, Zodiacs? Yeah, you know, like, Scorpio, Virgo, Leo, like, that stuff. <laughs> thought it was going to be about that. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Was he disappointed? That is yeah. Funny. I don't know what the fuck? This is not what I signed up for. <laughs> I thought we were finding out our zodiac signs on the first day. <laughs> like, when, when do the Scorpios and Capricorns come into play? <laughs> no PCs? <laughs> <laughs> no cancer? I thought we were going to get some cancer in our life. Ooh, green? Green means very nice. Who, who's someone that you would like think that that reads like um their horoscope? Like a guy. A, <sighs> like a guy? Well, I'm like just anyone. I don't what know. is it? Well, like anyone, like someone who like reads their horoscope. Like like it's like astrology stuff. Dude, I'm not sure why, but like. Jack Nix is like the first person to come to my head. <laughs> really? I don't know. I can see him being like, yeah. The only like, um, I think the t the only way I found out about it like was like through just Instagram posts. Yeah, I, I just like remember ads I was, for like other pages. Oh, I remember like back in like maybe like ninth grade, I used to see like uh, on the Explorer feed, and there'd be like, it'd be like, oh, like some horoscope shit. Yeah, like, like the signs, like favorite places or whatever, and I was like, oh, like I'm curious, and I'm like, oh, good, okay, no, that's not me. Like, oh, that is kind of like me, and then I kind of just keep scrolling. All right, I'm gonna read you my horoscope for today, okay? Okay. There's a great deal of fuel to keep your fire raging today, Scorpio. <laughs> Powerful situations are apt to come your way, in which you're asked to take decisive action. Don't shy away from added responsibility. Your ego is very strong, which helps you take charge of any situation. Just make sure that you don't step on anyone's toes in the process. Revive your love. Make this the year your love grows with psychic love reading. That's an ad. Dude, I just really, like, I honestly, I don't know. If, like, if there was ever, like, a horoscope that was just, like, like your trash or something like that, you know, then I'd be like, okay. Maybe. But they're all, like, uplifting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you will like conquer today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You need that one where it's like, you will lose a best friend in the next 24 hours. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> and then it's like, like, subconsciously knowing that, you, like, start fucking, like, you, like, text one of your friends, it's like, you're a piece of shit. You're like, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Alcove. Alcon? Dude, are you a real gamer? Yeah. 
Like, what do you mean, game? Like, what's a real gamer? I don't know. Someone who likes to enjoy enjoys video games. <laughs> yes, yes. No, well, here's no. I'd say someone who enjoys video For... games and is somewhat connected with the culture. That's what I'd say. I'll do. I'll say yes. I guess. You know what I mean? Is the white means like... dead, Mason? When it blinks white. I don't. Does it blink white? Yeah. I usually just like once it stops hitting that. Not that good. I usually just put it on the charger. <coughs> well, I had it on the charger. That's the crazy part. Well, how long did you have it on? How fucking many times did you hit it? Did you leave it, it on? Times makes sense. Because yeah, I usually I turn not. mine on and off as soon as I'm done. Yeah. Hit it. I do too. Dude, what should I do before the summer ends? Um. We should smoke like a whole fucking zip by ourselves. Yeah. That's not fucking happening. Well, something more Why feasible, not? dude. Um. Dude, I mean, Friday's gonna be good, bro. We gonna uh, play some beer pong? Oh, bet. But we're at. We're at. Dude, <laughs> dude, mama, dude, mama. dude I mean, like, Please. honestly, let me ask you a question, bro. Like. Like, I, don't, like, I don't see why we couldn't, like, like, be honest with me, hey, I don't see, like, why we couldn't just show at your house. I mean, obviously, like, yeah, we don't make too much noise. I mean, it's in the daytime as well. It's not like we're fucking doing it, like, 10 o'clock. No, y'all can chill. Because I'm talking about Friday, if we do anything. Yeah, I don't really care. Hey, you got, you had a love seat now, too. I like it. I it's like couch. the same size of the couch, basically. It's a though. fucking couch. Yeah, but I mean, it's called a love seat because it's two seats. Yeah, I know, but yeah. Yeah, it's not a love seat. It's a couch. But we're just we're gonna we'll put we'll play some beer pong, watch a game, get zooted. Mm, maybe drop. Maybe drop. Ooh, very nice. I can give maybe it drop. Now. We still yes. got two left. Kana? Yes. <laughs> I mean, I, I I got three and I only took two that day. Connor. Um, we'll see. I take that as a no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just have. We'll see. I have money on the line. I gotta I gotta take it no matter what. But yeah, um, that's a lie. But if I take it, then I'll, then I'll do that and then. Just get hella high. If I took it, I would do it in the morning. I would like to. The game started at 2 o'clock, bro. The game started early. The only game I really want to see, other than tomorrow, is the, uh... Let me look it up real quick. The NBA games. <clears throat> Lakers versus Clipper, obviously. I want to see that. I guess yeah. Bucks Celtics. I want to see the Rockets versus the Mavericks. What time do the Bucks and Celtics play? Six thirty, and then the, what time the, Rockets, do the Rockets at nine o'clock. Pel when do the Pelicans play? Oh, uh, they play tomorrow at six thirty. Are you guys Can I sleep often? on the couch, Hayden? Huh? Can I sleep on the couch on Friday night? Uh, yeah, you can. I don't know what time I'm gonna be getting there. Wait, you work on Friday? Yeah. When do you work? I, I'm, let me look at it real quick. Hopefully in the morning. Yes, sir. You work from 2 to 10. This is every game. Then schedule to play. That would suck. Big time. Suck big time. I but concur. You can I concur. concur. Sure. Well, it's so nice. It's very pleasant. Pleasant response. I get off at 7 on Friday. Okay, so we can... You, wait, what time did you say the Celtics game was at? Six? Dude, ask if you like, yo, can I leave 30 minutes fucking earlier? I'm trying to catch the beginning of the Celtics. No, I could miss the beginning. I'll be all right. Can you, though? You I can't be, if, well, actually, I mean, Hayden can do whatever he wants now. He's a green shirt. Yeah. Dude, Hayden's his own boss. He's a big Yeah, no. Helen, why do they have you wearing a t-shirt now? Cause it's more comfortable. No, Hayden. I I know for a fact you feel good when you put that green shot on. D. You like, or when you put that white shot on, you're like, yeah, I fucking made I it. I wear green now. Well, I don't understand. I wear... like, 
How, how, or how does it? How do you change? I thought you go from green to white. You go to white from white. You go from green to white to like this different green and like totally different type of shirt. Okay. It's like a button-up green shirt. So like, Not how? So like, like, what's your like job title? You would say. A uh, customer service staff member. Oh shit! <laughs> You're a big man. What's that? Yeah, assistant to the assistant man. <laughs> no, but I I do uh, I do think that's pretty cool. That you're assistant like assistant front service. That your customer clerk. service now. Assistant. It's more money, more Team money. Leader. More money, more problems. Though they say. They do say. That's Biggie, straight from Biggie boy, B I G. B-I-double-G. double G. Feeling a little slumped, y'all. Yeah, I was I actually thinking yeah, about Yeah, uh, I share the feeling. I was thinking <laughs> if you guys want to wrap the podcast up, actually, because it's hit an hour and ten minutes. That's it? Really? I thought it was longer. Really? Yeah, I'm yeah. fucking hungry. Well, dude, I'm down to, uh, in the podcast. It was a pretty good one. Chill podcast. Just talking. Yeah. What our it's good, good friend, to have uh, John Connor. I know, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't quite eventful. a regular goon life experience that you could have, but it's a more uh, more dynamic. Yeah, dynamic. <laughs> it's been an honor and a pleasure. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very nice. Conan, any last words? Hey, don't do drugs. Heard it here. See you guys next time. 